Hello there, my name is Plumby, and today I'm going to be bringing you all another episode of The Sims 4 Willow Creek Stories. I have not posted an episode of Willow Creek Stories for three months, so I definitely need to post another one. We've been focusing a lot on Daisy and Nolan, so I thought today I would dedicate my time to filming I'm posting a Willow Creek Stories episode. It is currently a blizzard. A blizzard is currently happening in Willow Creek. So all of the honey brews are currently inside today, staying nice and warm by the fire. First off, we have Magnolia who is feeling so cold that she has to have a fire on and also have the fireplace channel on as well. <laughs> And she's currently just in her onesie. It's the beginning of winter break today and she's really just enjoying her morning, relaxing and not having to go to school. Willow does have to work from home today. Today will be her last day of working for the winter. Just as Willow was working, the power went out. So unfortunately she can't work anymore because obviously she works on her computer and this is probably because of the blizzard outside. So it looks like they're all gonna be huddling towards the fire now as the thermostat obviously isn't working as well because of the power going off. So everyone's gonna flock to the living room now. So now they're all flocking towards the living room and trying to go as close to the fire as they possibly can to stay warm. So it looks like they'll be crowding in here today. I hope Hopefully the blizzard will clear up soon so they will have some power back but for now it looks like they're gonna have to entertain themselves. As you may have noticed I have actually decorated their house a little bit for Winterfest because obviously these guys love Winterfest so they want to decorate for it. So they've got some Christmas trees scattered around along with some other kind of Christmassy knickknacks and decorations all put up around the house. Maggie has headed upstairs to her bedroom to get some homework done. She thought now would be a good time to get the homework done that she was assigned to do for winter break. If we remember the past couple of episodes are really since Maggie became a child she hasn't really been getting along with Willow as much and this is something that has been really bothering Willow like in the last episode she kind of consulted the other mums and they were like you know it's so normal you know she's growing up she may be a bit embarrassed by you but it still hurts Willow and she still wants to try and kind of hang out with Maggie and kind of see why Maggie is ignoring her and kind of being like go away mom and stuff like that although she probably already knows the answer she still wants to talk to her about it. She is offering to help her out with her homework she's like you know it's quite dark in here why don't I help you out maybe I can bring up some candles you can you know work by candlelight so you can read everything a little bit better. Maggie is probably thinking I really really hope she goes away because <laughs> I'm just trying to focus and it's hard enough with the power being off but she's accepting the help of Willow for now which is good that's a start. Downstairs James is keeping the kids busy in the living room they're all staying nice and warm and safe from the blizzard outside in here luckily they brought down lots of the toys and obviously they have the dollhouse down here so they are keeping very very occupied. Willow and Magnolia decided to both head downstairs as it was quite cold up there and she did manage to finish her homework so I think that now Willow's kind of thinking this is a prime time you know have a chat with her kind of get to the bottom of why Magnolia's you know been ignoring her and kind of been acting a bit moody towards her. I think that Willow is going to do a smooth apology she kind of wants to say first I'm sorry if I've annoyed you at all I don't really know what I've done but I'd love if we could you know talk about it and maybe you know you could tell me why you're so annoyed at me but I'm sorry for whatever I, I have done to uh, upset you and I think Magnolia is going to say honestly mum I just wish that you would you know give me my own space and kind of leave me alone you've been just not ever letting me kind of have my own space like now for example you come into my room and you bother me about my homework when I'm trying to focus if it weren't for the stupid blizzard I'd be back in my bedroom and I'd lock the door so then you couldn't come in and I think now Magnolia is gonna say I'm gonna head into the living room just give me my space or else I'm gonna be very very angry so she's kind of heading off and poor Willow still does not know what to think she's like have I not been giving her enough space? I thought I was giving her a lot of space, it's just we never hang out anymore and I miss spending time with, 
with Maggie and I wish that I could, you know, start hanging out with her again. So she's definitely feeling really, really sad and really bummed out. And the response that she got was definitely not the one that she wanted. She kind of wanted them to just, you know, hug it out and then go do something fun together. It seems that that is not the case. Magnolia, on the other hand, has decided to go ahead and nap on the sofa. She's really, really not enjoying spending all her time today downstairs, but it's just way too cold upstairs, sadly. And the blizzard does not look like it's going to be clearing up at all today so sadly she just has to go lay by the fire and try to ignore the rest of her family but it does seem that Blossom is getting kind of bored she's currently waking up Maggie she's saying wake up wake up I'm bored <laughs> so poor old Magnolia has been woken up and Blossom with her smelly nappy <laughs> is now about to talk to her and she's like I have stuff to tell you I'm so tired Blossom why can't you just leave me alone and let me sleep I'm utterly exhausted leave me alone but I'm really bored Henry's complaining and mum and dad are getting irritable too so I want to come hang out with you well I'm busy so you're going to have to go do something else go play with the dolls or something I'm busy right now but please Maggie go away Blossom I told you already plus you smell Blossom is not happy with Magnolia whatsoever and Magnolia is definitely not happy with Blossom either and Blossom is going ahead and hitting poor Maggie <laughs> and now she's trying to scare her so these two are definitely getting in a big argument and I think Blossom is probably screaming for Willow now <laughs> and in comes Willow hopefully <laughs> to save the day and she's gonna go ahead and tell Magnolia off she's probably saying you know don't be mean Magnolia and oh no, it looks like Blossom's attacking her even more. Oh no, <laughs> this is not good. This is turning into a full on fight. Oh my goodness. James is coming in and taking Blossom out of the room. And I'm going to go ahead and get Magnolia to ask what Willow's problem is. Mum, I don't get it. Blossom started it. She was annoying me when I was trying to nap. She woke me up. I don't know what your problem is. Why can't you just leave me alone and let me be? Honey, I will leave you alone, but you can't just go around yelling and being mean to your sister. You know, we're all bored right now because of the blizzard, but you've got to pull yourself together. You are the older sibling and I expect you to act like it. But that is so unfair. There, she started it. Why do I have to be the one to get in trouble? I hate you. I wish I had a different mum. And Willow is completely shocked at this. She's like, Magnolia. Willow is gonna say, listen here, you are grounded. And obviously Magnolia is like, what? That's so unfair. Willow has never actually ever grounded Magnolia before. So this is a first for her, but Willow is furious and very saddened by Magnolia's behavior, not only with how she treated Blossom, but also the unkind things she said to Willow. Plus Maggie probably throwed in a few swear words, <laughs> which obviously Willow does not allow in the house. So she's gonna go ahead and ground her. And obviously right now, most of these things are not allowed because, or not, well, they're allowed, but they're not working because the power is out. So I think that what she's gonna say is, she is going to say to her, no TV, because I think Magnolia was planning on you know watching some tv in winter break watching some christmas films but she's gonna say no you are not allowed to watch the tv for a day after the power comes back despite it being freezing cold magnolia does not care she needs some colder air to cool down her anger anyway so she is making her way up to her bedroom she is completely angry with blossom Willow and probably James as well. They are now feeding the twins some food and I think Willow definitely wants to have a bit of a rant about Magnolia. She's probably like, oh, you won't believe it, Magnolia. She, oh, she's being so rude. I heard every single word and I was out there trying to calm down Blossom. Maybe you could try talking to her. Maybe try and, you know, calm her down, down a bit, Will. I've already tried that. I've tried calming her down. I've tried talking to her. I even apologized to her but she just won't give up she just keeps being so rude i'd love to help honey but i have a feeling that this turmoil is kind of just between you and her honestly james i'm just so tired and fed up with that arguing between me and her 
I really, really wish you would just tell me what's wrong and, and, you know, accept that we need to spend time together and that I've already given her so much space. Well, if she's asked for space, maybe that's what you need to give her. I guess so. It's just so difficult. I miss when me and Maggie used to do everything together. Now, though, they are both going to go ahead and get the toddlers into bed. This has definitely not been the most ideal snowed in family day as Willow and James were hoping it would be. Upstairs, there is one very, very, very <laughs> angry Magnolia who is so angry at her whole family right now and wanting nothing to do with them. And of course we have a very very sad Blossom and a very very sad Willow as well who unfortunately have had to face the wrath of Maggie and her angstiness. <laughs> and this is absolutely perfect timing as well. Magnolia is going through a phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being more nasty with other sims couldn't come up at a better time what started off as a resentment towards willow has now kind of gone over the whole family willow really really hopes that soon she can get through to magnolia and things can be how they used to be i think deep down despite james and other people telling her that you know she's just you know going through a bit of an angsty phase willow suspects that something deeper is going on with magnolia and she hopes to get to the bottom of it so they can get along again but now why don't we go ahead and head on over and see what birch has been up to in this crazy blizzard hopefully things are going a bit more better better for him as he is snowed in in his home. Now we are at Birch's house and as you can tell he's also gone ahead and put up his decorations for Winterfest. Birch actually has power which is amazing but he is currently missing work because obviously I don't think that anyone would want to go outside in that blizzard so he's staying inside with his new friend here which we actually have to name. I asked you guys for name recommendations in the last episode and you left so many adorable ones so let's go ahead and name Birch's new fur baby. So the name that I decided to choose was Bear. Thank you so much Charlie Cat for recommending this name for Birch's new dog. I absolutely love it. It's so freaking adorable and thank you to everybody else as well who recommended names. I really really appreciate all of the name suggestions. They were all incredible and so adorable. I loved reading through all of them. Thank you so much for your suggestions and I'm so happy that Bear has a name now. Just as Birch is relaxing, it seems a very brave sim has decided to face the storm and head on over to his house despite the blizzard being absolutely insane and the sim is no one other than julia so she's currently knocking on his door bear has beat butch to it he's like butch butch someone's at the door so gonna go ahead and get him to invite her in julia is saying i had to come around because i actually have no power and i thought i'd head over to your place to see if you have any power butch is probably saying wow that's a lot of effort to go to obviously i can't turn you away now so i yeah, you know, make yourself at home. I'm so sorry if I'm a nuisance. You, your house was the nearest one to me and obviously I didn't want to walk very far so I kind of had to come here first and he's probably saying it's completely fine, you know. I don't mind at all. She's gonna go ahead and say hello to Bear. She's like, how are you, Bear? Oh, <laughs> how freaking adorable. I love Bear so much. She's so cute. I'm now getting Birch to go ahead and make dinner for the both of them because this blizzard is not clearing up yet so of course he has to make some dinner for two. I'm getting him to make some warming mac and cheese because there's nothing better on a stormy cold winter's evening than a lovely plate of mac and cheese. <laughs> so I'm getting him to make some of that now. I think they are probably going to be, you know, discussing their plans for Winterfest. You know, he's kind of asking, you know, does, is she planning on staying with any family for the holiday? And I think she's saying, yeah, I plan on, my family live here, um, so I don't have to travel far, but I'm planning on staying with them anyway. And I have, you know, my little nieces and stuff that I want to see. Well, what about you? Do you have any family you're going to be spending? Um, Winterfest with. I'm actually going to be going to San Myshino this Winterfest to spend it with my younger sister Daisy and her son. My whole family is going to be going and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to, you know, spending some time in the city. I haven't been there for a while. Oh, did you say San Myshino? I actually studied there and I really enjoyed living there for a while, but I eventually came back to my hometown. But just, you know, asking her, do you like living in the city or do you prefer, you know, the more small town life of Willow Creek. To be honest, I much prefer the Willow Creek life. I always thought that I would prefer the city life as it's fun and exciting and different to what I know, but 
at the end of the day, I'm a small town person at heart, I suppose. It's now 10 p.m. and the blizzard still appears to not be clearing up and these guys have managed to talk for a couple hours and just have a cozy evening, but obviously they both probably wanna head to bed now because it is getting late. Birch has said that she can have his bedroom for the night because of course he is such a gentleman. <laughs> so he's probably going to be looking at sleeping on the sofa. Birch said to her that she can borrow some of his pajamas because obviously she didn't come here planning to spend the night. So she's gonna go ahead and throw on some of his pajamas. So I kind of just went ahead and copied his outfit and just threw it on her. Birch is saying, you know, I hope this is comfortable enough. I'm so sorry that you've had to stay the night. And she's like, no, it's completely fine. I mean, honestly, it's my own fault for coming over, but I don't have a fireplace, so I was freezing cold. I appreciate it, I really do. And I think Birch is finally gonna say, I hope that you sleep well, and then he's gonna go ahead and head on over to his sofa. <laughs> and now she's also gone ahead and headed into bed, and look, Bear is sleeping right next to her. That's the most adorable thing ever. Bear's probably wondering why on earth Birch isn't in his bed, and why on earth she is there. <laughs> I was sort of hoping that Bear would join Birch on the sofa to, you know, keep him warm. I mean, he does have his heating on still, but it would, you know, be nice for him to have her there, but she decided to go in with Julia instead. So poor old Birch is on his own. I'll now be, of course, seeing you when they do wake up tomorrow, and hopefully then the blizzard has cleared up. But I think that Julia and Birch are both quite happy that this blizzard has occurred so they can spend more time together. Julia is the first to be awake today. It is currently almost 6 a.m. and she's making her way to the bathroom. Birch is still fast asleep. He didn't get as much of a comfortable sleep as she did, obviously. I think she's gonna go ahead and put away the laundry for him and potentially make breakfast just as another way to say thank you. And if we look outside, it looks like the blizzard still has not cleared. It doesn't look as bad as it did last Last night but still it's around 7 30 a.m now and it is still so dark outside because of the blizzard so it doesn't look like she may be leaving anytime soon. Birch has woken up to the smell of toast so he's probably going to get up now and grab a serving himself. She's probably saying good morning Birch you know I made us some food. Birch is probably gonna say oh, I really appreciate that and he also did the laundry. Oh, thank you so much. They are now both watching the weather forecast to hopefully hear about what is going to be happening regarding this blizzard and as this guy on the tv is saying it looks like the blizzard is not going to be clearing up and they recommend to stay safe and warm inside and not travel even if it means just going down the street and i say this as there is a shirtless man on tv why couldn't they just stay on the blizzard channel <laughs> Thank you, The Sims, thank you. But either way, it is recommended for them to stay indoors and not go outside. So now it looks like Julia will not be leaving the house just yet and that she'll probably be staying with Birch a little bit longer. As we know, Birch is incredibly positive, so he's gonna say, you know what, why don't we make the most of it? We could decorate a bit more of the house for Winterfest and we could do some festive baking perhaps. So now these two are gonna begin with making some sugar cookies because there's nothing better than baking on a cold winter's day. So they're gonna go ahead and do some baking. And I don't think neither of them bake too much either. So this is gonna be a very, very interesting endeavor for the both of them. I like to imagine as well, they probably have some festive music playing and they're really just trying to enjoy this inconvenient situation, I suppose you could call it. Now the cookies are in the oven. I can imagine that the house smells so good right now. I really, really want some cookies <laughs> now because of this. They look so delicious. It's a shame they aren't higher with baking because then they'd be able to decorate them, but this, this will do. And they're going to enjoy their cookies whilst watching a lost dog's journey home. As they're watching the film, I think Birch is gonna go ahead and make a move because why not? I think Birch is probably going to ask Julia, you know, if you don't mind me asking, you know, are you seeing anyone at the moment? No, I uh, actually recently got out of a pretty bad relationship with someone, so no, I'm not seeing anyone at the moment. Um, but I uh, really appreciate your kindness, seriously. You're honestly amazing for kind of taking me under your wing whilst this bliz blizzard is going on, but I, I think the power may be back on now and I may want to try and make the trek home. I know on the news it says we probably shouldn't head out, but my house is literally only down the street and I think it's worth, you know, making the uh, trek. So um, I'm going to go get ready now. Just as she said this, Birch actually got a call from 
Finley, which is perfect timing. Well done, Finley. <laughs> so she's gonna go ahead and get ready to head out. Finley saying, hi, Birch, no, I hope you're doing okay. We had no power. Did you have any power? And I think he's like, I did. Oh my goodness, you should have like come around. You're literally right next to, to where I live. I should have come over and checked on you guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. And probably Finley's saying, you know, it's fine. Just checking if you're okay, we're okay, <laughs> which is sweet, but. I think Birch is kind of, you know, thinking, you know, did I say something wrong? Because it seemed, you know, after, you know, asked her if she was seeing anyone. Before that, things seemed to be going quite well, but it seemed that, you know, after he asked her that question, she kind of seemed to maybe want to leave and wanted to kind of go, so... Birch kind of thinks, you know, maybe I shouldn't have asked that question, you know, I feel kind of silly now, but either way, he's going to respect her decision. I think he's saying, you know, I'll join you, you know, I'll walk you there, you know, I think it's more safer if two are out in this blizzard than one. They are both now making their way through this blizzard, which is not calming down by any means. They are braving it and they are trying to get to her house, which luckily is not too far away, but it's still a relative distance away from Birch's home. They only have a little bit further to go before they are at her house. Oh no, <laughs> it looks like Birch has fallen in the snow. Just wonderful, poor guy. But thank goodness they have managed to make their way over to Julia's house, which is perfect. It looks like she's immediately going to the tap um, and filling it with warm water to try and warm up her hands, <laughs> which is so adorable. She's actually living in Daisy and Willow's old home, if you remember, which Birch is like, oh my goodness. I had no idea that she lived here and I think he's probably gonna tell her, you know, this is actually where my sisters used to live. And oh my goodness, it's actually Julia's dog who's here, which is so cute. You guys are probably wondering what happened to this goofy, goofy little guy whilst she was, you know, at Birch's house because obviously she would have left him here, which is mean. She would not have obviously left him purposely. Uh, that is because he only came in this this morning so actually her friend came around and dropped him here because she had to get the house ready for him because he was only joining her today and her friend was taking care of him whilst she kind of got the house ready and they kind of dropped him off despite the blizzard so here he is <laughs> i decided to pick the name kale for him thank you summer for recommending this name suggestion for this little goofy guy it was difficult to pick a name once again you guys are so so creative and clever with names i love them all each of them had really cool meanings but i decided to go with kale because obviously julia is a gardener she obviously is butch's co-worker thank you summer and of course thank you everyone else for your name suggestions i love them all but welcome kale you are one goofy little guy and i love you <laughs> Julia is probably going to thank him one last time. She's obviously extremely grateful. The poor thing's exhausted, but she's saying, I'm so sorry if I've caused you any turmoil. I probably shouldn't have come over, but it was just so cold in my house because I didn't have any power. But she's saying, no, not at all. It was lovely having you and it was great company. I loved watching films. I loved baking. I uh, hope that my house was, you know, a nice kind of place for you to stay. It definitely was. I really enjoyed uh, staying with you. But now he is going to say goodbye and she's also going to say goodbye as well and I think she's gonna say you know, if you ever need any favors any errands you need help with I'll totally help you out with them and I'll definitely give you a call as well but now Birch of course has to make his way home to there so we're gonna go ahead and get him to leave over he runs to his house which is actually only across the road and he fell again just wonderful Birch just wonderful but we're gonna go ahead and get him to head home and we are probably going to go ahead and see what Feather and Finley have been up to in this blizzard. They have their power, which is good, but I wonder what they're doing to keep occupied in this extremely stormy, stormy weather. Probably not being as courageous as Birch as to <laughs> leave the house to escort Julia home and not as courageous as her to leave her house to go to Birch's house because of the thermostat not working. I'm going on a tangent, but <laughs> they're probably having a more cozy, less hectic time. <laughs> We are joining Feather, Finley, and Guppy as they are all decked out in Christmas jumpers and hats, it seems, <laughs> and are all doing some dancing to some fun winter fest music, which they seem to really be enjoying. So they are both enjoying a boogie and keeping themselves entertained. <laughs> you may have noticed, despite being decked out in cr Christmas clothing, they haven't actually decked 
the halls there are no <laughs> christmas decorations anywhere and this is actually because both of them are feeling very very tired and they just don't have the energy in them this year to decorate for winterfest so they are waiting of course for the blizzard to clear up so then some of the honey brews can come over and help them decorate this is something that has been a problem which has been arising for both of them quite recently you know regarding finding it harder to do lots of things like cleaning both of them have been struggling to clean feather still has the energy in her to cook yummy food and bake but that is about it most of the time they find themselves on the sofa relaxing because they just don't have any of the energy to do anything else and that is obviously because they are of course not getting any younger i think right now these two are kind of you know discussing this you know they don't want to shy away from it they do, do want to discuss it with each other and i don't think they've really told the other honey brews yet i think mainly because they don't really like the idea of kind of i suppose asking them for help they both have kind of always been very independent and they've never really had to ask any of their kids for help so of course now it feels quite wrong to them it shouldn't feel wrong obviously but it does to them to kind of you know say to willow and james and, and birch and stuff you know we may need your help with you know just decorating winterfest and maybe with some other things they are both though trying as hard as they can to stay positive and obviously they're trying their best to be really festive today by dressing up as festive as possible which honestly i think is enough they are trying to stay positive and they are trying their best but it seems that old age is definitely catching up with the both of them which breaks my heart so 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 much another thing that they have been discussing as well is also tied into the kind of struggles that they're facing and that is the house obviously the honey brews live in a relatively big house it is a bungalow it doesn't have an upstairs but it's still a very 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 big house and they obviously don't have the energy to clean it like both of them are cleaning but still they just don't have it in them anymore and they don't think they will have it in them again so they have definitely been considering either you know potentially asking if any of the honey brews would like to move in with them and kind of share the house with them and kind of help out or they are also planning on maybe moving but they aren't fond of both of these options obviously they're not fond of moving because they adore this house this is like the main honey brew house you know the thought of moving right now is really stressful for them and obviously they don't want to sell this house which they just love so very much so they're definitely in a bit of a dilemma with this and they also don't really like the idea of inviting the other honey brews to live with them because they are of course worried about seeming really needy to the honey brews and they don't want to ask for help i suppose they would feel wrong doing that so they really are not sure what to do and i think you know they're really thinking on this you know do we think about moving and selling the house or do we think about asking if maybe anyone wants to move in with us so it's something both feather and finley are both feeling quite stressed about and very apprehensive to talk about it with the other honey brews i think though that they've probably come to the conclusion this evening that the best form of action would be to discuss this with willow to discuss this with birch you know that they are going to be seeing all of them pretty soon for winterfest over in sami shuno so it would be the best time to discuss it with the whole family they both know that it won't be easy and it will be incredibly difficult to bring it up because they've been trying the hardest to kind of hide their old age for a while now with the other honey brews because you know they don't want to upset them i have looked at the lifespan and they are nearing the end of their days and i don't want to think about it and i've like actually <laughs> fought it off for a very long time now with uh potions but can't fight it off forever and i can't neither can they so it is definitely something which they have decided they will discuss when they are with daisy this winter fest now though i think i am going to go ahead and get them to head into bed as it is getting quite late and they are both feeling very very tired so they are now both gonna go ahead and get a good night's sleep it is now the morning and it seems that the blizzard has gone it is still very very snowy you know there's still heavy snowfall but the really really strong winds and the other blizzardy things <laughs> have calmed down a bit now and it's just now heavy snow which is amazing and i think that hopefully or i hope that the rest of winter won't be as harsh at least in willow creek i hope you all enjoyed this episode i love winter i love winter in the sims 4 i love this kind of you know snowed in feel this kind of cozy feel i'm really looking forward to the next episode which will be honey brew because they will of course all be going to 
to be selling these Shilo to have a big honey brew winter fest celebration which is going to be ever so fun so do stay tuned for that make sure to leave your feedback uh, on this episode in the comment section down below your thoughts and everything i'd love to hear it and as i always say i hope you're taking care of yourself today and doing something that you love even if it's only for a minute or two i'm sending you lots of hugs warm hot chocolate and blankets and i hope you have a very 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 wonderful rest of your day